Like a lot of people at the moment, I'm working from home, and as a means to almost like break up my day, um, I wanted to use like half an hour, I think. I've got about 20 minutes of my lunch break um, to film a video. I thought I would film the reading habits tag just because it's quick and easy, um, and I also really love these tags. It feels kind of old school YouTube. The first question is, do you have a certain place at home for reading? The answer is yes and no london flats are small so it's not as if i have my own room for reading having my own library would be amazing um but mostly i just read on the sofa next to ben um we have like a really nice sofa uh, i love just sitting there and in bed i've always read in bed i think i've loved kind of going to bed and reading i haven't done it as much recently just because as I've discussed in previous videos, I haven't been reading as much, um, but I do love just curling up and getting cosy, so sofa or the bed. Question number two is bookmark or a random piece of paper? Now, I have the book that I'm reading currently, right next to me, which is Wolf Hall, and I do have a bookmark, but actually I put this bookmark in the video to show you it, um, but this just goes to show that I'm not very good using bookmarks. So this is my bookmark that I love, which is a naked lady. I don't use her. I forget about her all the time. I am terrible with bookmarks. Throughout my life, I've probably been given loads, I've probably bought loads, and I just haven't used them. I always seem to end up using a piece of toilet tissue, or like a normal tissue. Obviously not used, that sounds really gross, but just anything I can get my hands on, it does seem to be tissue, because I do feel like I live surrounded by tissue. Um, at the moment, I'm dog-earing my pages. The third question is, can you stop reading or do you have to stop after a chapter or a certain amount of pages? I tend to stop at a chapter. It feels neat to me to stop at a chapter. Or like when the page, it isn't a new chapter, but it's like split. Like there's a, a line break or something like that. I don't work in editorial, so I don't know what that is. I tend to stop there. I will never just stop mid-sentence. I am, you know, I have a lot of chaotic energy, but not that much chaotic energy. The next question is, do you eat or drink while reading? Yes. I don't eat, though, because that seems messy. Um, I guess it depends what it is. Sitting down with a book and a cup of tea is my version of heaven. Multitasking. Music or TV while reading? Music all the time. I love listening to soundtracks. Um, I always listen to music though, I think I always have headphones in, it just makes me really happy and calm. TV, yes, sometimes. Ben doesn't tend to watch TV, he tends to play PlayStation, so I'll sometimes read while that's on. But as a kid, especially when I was at home um, in the evenings, like my mum would all sit down and put the TV on and I would often be sitting there with a book. But nowadays, it does tend to be just music but actually now I'm thinking about it I do think I read better when the situation isn't that calm around me I think sometimes when things are busy and maybe a bit more chaotic I actually find myself being able to focus more um, and I don't know why that is but I think my brain has always been like that that's why I like reading in sometimes quite busy places as well and not just at home one book at a time or several at once always lots of books kind of I mean I have a tendency to start lots of books and then just never finish lots of them um, and then maybe finish one of them. I do tend to like having a fiction book and a non-fiction book on the go at the same time. I have been known to listen to one book in audiobook form and then to read another book in physical format. I do tend to have several on the go. But right now I am just trying to get through Hilary Mantel. Reading at home or everywhere? Mostly at home, I guess. To be honest, now we've got the flat, I kind of like coming home and spending time in my flat. But as I said, I do like reading in noisy environments where a lot's going on, so I do like reading in cafes. Some of the nicest dates I've ever had with Ben have actually been when we've both gone to a cafe and we've just sat there independently with our books. And even if we don't get much reading done, that experience has always felt really special and I've always just cherish that moment of kind of you know taking your book outside and going on a little adventure at the moment i'm just trying to read books i'm just trying to read more so wherever i read them that is fine with me as long as i'm reading and not just scrolling through social media which is fine that's 100 percent fine it's like my job it's the thing i love most but god damn it i need to read more reading out loud or silently in your head silently but i also do like reading out loud i don't read out loud as like a general rule of them though if it's poetry or i'm reading a play a hundred percent but mostly i do tend to read 
alone in my head. Um, I think it would annoy Ben. I already annoy Ben a lot by talking. So I think if I then started to read all of my books aloud, um, I think he'd be divorcing me very, very quickly. Do you read ahead or even skip pages? Never. I don't understand people who do this. I'm pretty certain I know someone, and I don't know if it is my mum, maybe it is my mum, who read the end of a book to work out if she would enjoy it or work out if it was worth her reading. And I don't understand. I don't get it. I, it's not that I'm like anti-spoiler, but there is something so chaotic in doing that. I mean, okay, I, I guess I have, I don't think I've ever skipped pages. I've definitely skim read. I went to university, studied a lot of books. I'm sure I skim read. But with reading, I'm gonna start at the beginning and I, will, I mean, I may not finish the book because that's me, but I will definitely, if I'm gonna finish the book, I will definitely not know the ending until I get to the ending if that makes sense. Breaking the spine or keeping it like new? So it depends. This copy of Wolf Hall has been completely broken, um, you know, and I've docked all the pages, I've done everything to it, um, and it's kind of bent. But this is because this is my reading copy of Wolf Hall, and then I have another prettier edition of it as like my pristine copy. As a general rule of thumb, I try to not break the spine, but it's not the end of the world. The thing I have the problem with is that if it wasn't me who broke the spine, if I'm in a bookshop and I'm looking for a book that I want to buy and I see that the only edition they've got has like a broken spine or even worse when the front page and the cover just is a little bit damaged, I hate that. But I feel like it's okay if I've done it because that was me doing it to my book rather than someone else. So I do try and keep things looking pretty but at the end of the day I'm not that fussed about it. Um, I might be a bit upset for like two seconds and then I would get over it. The last question of this tag is do you write in your books and the answer is yes. When I was a student I always used to write in my books that's how I annotated. I only ever write in pencil though I don't write in pen. I think writing in books and underlining your books is a wonderful thing to do. If you're comfortable with it and it's your book like it's your property do it. I love when I look back at some of my books and I've seen notes that I've made from university and I like the fact that I can look at the passages in books that I felt were important at a certain time and then when I go back to reread them it's like I'm having this dialogue with myself. I did a whole video on this um, a long time ago, like very young Claire, about secondhand books and about annotations of books so maybe I'll put a link to that. Um, because that expresses my feelings really on why I think it's quite important to write in books. It is something though that I only tend to do in classics, which is probably because of university. So that was my reading habits tag. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's been a nice way to break up my lunch break. Look after yourself and I'll see you again soon with another video.